Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm super excited about today's video because I am going to be reviewing and trying out the Shark Flex Style Air Styling and Drying System. So if you don't know anything about this new Shark Flex Style tool, it's basically a dupe for the Dyson Airwrap, which immediately caught my attention when I saw this on TikTok. I was like, hang on, a dupe? Like an actual dupe? Let me look into this. So just going over every single piece of this tool, this is kind of the part that like powers the whole tool. It's pretty thick and it's not too heavy. I did hold the Dyson Airwrap at Neiman Marcus the other day and it's definitely thinner, but honestly I don't think it's a big deal because I can definitely still hold it with one hand, two hands, everything. So this is the main piece and then we have this little blow dryer attachment. There's a little unlocking button here. So you just press it down and then clip it on. It secures and then you let go of this button and it's on. At first when I put this on I was like wait how am I supposed to blow dry my hair like this? Like this is terrible. Why would they do this? But hang on I found out that there's another button right here that you press down again and then you do that and it turns into this little 90 degree angle and it's like a blow dryer i was like what and then we have this paddle brush and a round brush attachment also i heard in another review video that this paddle brush attachment is really good for if you have curly hair and like texture if you just blow dry and then once it's about 90 to 80 percent dry you can take this paddle brush and just smooth out everything. And then for the main attraction, the two air wrap attachments. I always wondered why there were two of them. People would like briefly hold them up in their review videos and I'd be like, wait, what's the difference? Why are there two of them? Is one of them bigger, smaller? I really couldn't tell. As you can see on top, there is a left and a right. So that's the direction that your hair will be wrapping, if that makes any sense. So that was a rundown of all of the attachments and different parts of this air wrap tool. I have a towel on my head. I've been letting it towel dry for a minute. I'm gonna take it out of the towel and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna go in with this blowout styling milk from JVN. It's my favorite. Now I'm just going to distribute that product even more by combing through the hair. I'm using this comb from The Way. I love this comb so much. It's so easy to travel with and just take with you on the go. And it's also really pretty. Okay, so now that my hair is nice and detangled and I've got the product in, I am going to put some heat protectant in and then we're gonna get started with blow drying. Also, I'm going to section off my hair just to make it a little bit easier. My hair is not super thick in my opinion, but it definitely needs to be sectioned off when I'm doing it. Then we're gonna toss on this blow dryer attachment and do the little twisty thing. I'm gonna turn this on. We're gonna dry our hair until it's about 80 to 90% dry. There's also settings to where you can choose how high you want the air to blow out and also the temperature. And then there's this blue button on top. Apparently you're supposed to shock the hair with the air wrap whenever you're curling to set the curl. It makes the curl last longer. I don't really know, I'm not a hair expert. I'm just doing what they tell me to do. So we're gonna try that out too. Now onto the third and final section. I'm also going to part my hair in the middle for this part. My hair looks a little crazy, but that is, I would say, about 90% dry, if not more than 90, honestly. Now I'm just going through and kind of detangling it even more. One last time. 
Now I'm gonna go in with the paddle brush attachment and just pop that on. And I'm gonna leave it straight. I'm not gonna bend it like how I did with the blow dryer attachment. And I feel like I don't have a lot of texture going on, especially because my curls are non-existent at this point. I do have a little bit of texture. That's why I'm going in with the paddle brush. And I have a feeling this is gonna make my hair actually very straight which is good to know that i like could use this instead of a straightener but we're gonna put it to the test and see okay you guys that was incredible my hair is straight <laughs> like i literally it's straight i am shocked right now you're coming home with me, okay? I already love this paddle brush attachment so much. I am gonna show you guys what it looks like after one pass through on my next section because I didn't do that with this section. And honestly, I wasn't expecting it to look this good this quickly. I'm shook right now, wait. Wait. Okay, we're gonna do the next section. Okay, one pass, one pass, that was it. Look at that, compared to this. Y'all, are you kidding me? You guys, I'm just gonna be freaking out after every layer. Cause you could literally leave like this. Like you could just straighten your hair and leave it at that. This is too good. <laughs> Last section before we move on, I'm going to part my hair in the middle. Okay, y'all, it is getting hot up in here, but my hair is literally straight, okay? In my opinion, it's not perfectly straight, like especially underneath. I have my like curly-ish wavy texture and a little bit on top too, like it's not perfect, but that was, amazing honestly and like the volume in my hair is still there and i feel like i could get it to be pretty much pin straight if i were to like keep going with it and like really get in there especially on top but i feel like we got the point with the paddle brush attachment it definitely straightens for the wavy slash curly hair girlies so now i'm going to remove the Paddle brush and put on the round brush. Oh, that was upside down. <laughs> One thing I forgot to mention to you guys is that I'm terrible at doing hair. And so this attachment kind of intimidates me. I might be wrong, but I don't think I'll be good at like the rolling and like, you know, the wrist work. Cause I feel like it's all on the wrist, but I'm gonna try it out for the sake of the video. No, <laughs> no, I told you guys, yeah, no, it, it gave me nothing. I don't think I know how to use it though. I feel like it's good because all the other attachments have been great so far. It, it's me, it's me, you guys. Don't take my word for that. Try it out yourself, I promise. I promise it's probably great and you can probably get an amazing blowout look just from this round brush attachment. But again, it's me. This one's not for me, okay? So we're just gonna move on. We're gonna act like that never happened. And we're gonna move on to the curling attachments. I'm pretty sure like you use the left one on the left side of your head and then the right one on the right side of your head. I'm assuming that would only make sense. And then there are arrows on the actual attachment that kind of show you which way your hair would be wrapping, I think. So I'm gonna start with the left side and pop that on. And then I think I'm gonna section my hair off 
but not into threes. I'll probably do it in two, just two sections for this one. I'm actually the most excited about this attachment. So let's try this out. I think like 20 seconds and then 10 seconds on the pole. Oh, it's like burning my ear. My ear is literally red. Oh. Okay, that was definitely 20 seconds. Now we're gonna click the pole button and then let it go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That fully just curled my hair, dude. <laughs> Wait, she really said boing, boing. <laughs> what? My only thing is that my ear is literally so hot. Both of them, honestly, just from all of us. But I mean, that's kind of what you will probably get from any hot tool. But wait, the curl. <gasps> and then the way it brushed up. We'll see what this looks like in the end, but I am so happy with this first piece. Holy shit. This is going to be good. I was a little let down by the round brush situation. I kind of let that get to me, but this, the comeback is real. The comeback is real. forgot I have to switch the attachment because now I'm doing the right side of my head but this is what the left side looks like so far that was three sections of my hair by the way it fits a lot of hair all at once which I love okay we're putting on the right side let's put it to the test baby This is the first layer. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it seems like the left side has already fallen more than the right side, which I just did. Like this curl compared to this curl is very different. Granted, I did just like brush through it with my fingers at the beginning, but even the curls like in the back that I did compared to this one, it seems like they're falling really fast, but that could honestly just be like my hair type. And I actually really like the loose curls and like the brushed out curl look anyway, so it personally doesn't bother me, but just something to note if you do like the tight curl type of look. I am going to take this clip out and we're gonna do this top layer. Also, I noticed that it's easier if you start from the back to the front rather than the front to the back because the air is blowing so hard. And I know you can like adjust it, but I want it all the way up just because like that's me. Since the air is blowing so hard on this thing, if you go from front to back, it starts to like get tangled in all of the other pieces that you just did, if that makes any sense. So just another thing to take note of. right side of my head. The curls are giving very much little bit of peep. I love it because I can brush it out with my fingers or I can take my comb and brush through it. Okay, so this is the right side of my hair. Let's take this clip out to compare it to the left. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, total difference. I love the way these curls look. I'll probably touch this side back up after I'm done with this side. As you can see on the left side, the curls that I did for my first section are literally just like bent ends at this point, like they're not even curls. I am obsessed to say the least. I love this. Okay, 
Okay, so that was the left side of my head. I am so obsessed with these curls. I'm so obsessed with the way these curls look. And I'm just lightly combing through. I don't want to do it too much because I just want to see how long these kind of hold in the next like 30 minutes to an hour. Oh my gosh. And the way my hair is like shining, the shine is real. Oh my goodness. So I would overall rate this a nine out of 10. And the only reason why I wouldn't go up to a 10 out of 10 is because of this, the round brush. But like I said earlier, I am terrible at doing hair. So it's definitely me, not the attachment. I very much so encourage you guys to go out and get this and try it out for yourself. Some of you guys are definitely better at hair than me, but I mean, the curling attachment and the flat brush really, really did it for me. Even the blow drying attachment, it dried my hair really, really fast. And like I said earlier, you guys know how much I love going to dry bar. Miss girl, I am about to cancel my dry bar membership. Like. I'm not even kidding. I'm literally gonna cancel it tonight because I'm not gonna keep paying $40, $50 for a blowout when I could literally get it at home for $270, which I like already paid for. So, mm -mm. I'm so obsessed. Oh my gosh. Wait, I can't stop staring at myself now. I need to stop. I need to chill. I need to chill. This is turning me into like, something that I don't want to be. Oh my god. Okay, you guys, I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. I hope y'all enjoyed this little review slash tryout video of the Shark Flex Style Air Styling and Drying System Tool. I highly recommend going out and getting this, honestly. If you've been thinking about going out and getting the Dyson Air Wrap, honestly, I would rethink your decision. After seeing this video, like, literally look at my hair. I am obsessed. I don't know about you guys, but I am so in love with the way this turned out. Make sure to ask some questions in the comments if you have any. I would be more than happy to answer when it comes to this tool. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the post notifications. You guys already know what to do. I don't even have to tell you, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.